Hey everyone, this is Dimitri Programmatic with MarketChameleon.com. I wanted to build upon our previous video using the credit put spread screener and talk about the seasonality tab over here. As you can see, as you scroll through the different tabs, you get different data and analytics to help you analyze uh, these all these different put spreads over here. And what we're going to talk about is the seasonality and, and how it could help you uh, narrow down your credit put spreads and look for positive directional edge and I'll explain that a little bit more as we go on so the previous video we talked about how important it was to look at the market price of these credit put spreads and compare them to a theoretical value to see if you're getting a theoretical edge in other words are you getting a good deal or is this a good price or a bad price um, compared to a historical theoretical value and also to test out what you the frequency of profitability using the 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 get the given information so let's just screen out those uh initially we'll screen out the uh credit put spreads with positive theoretical edge so i picked above 10 percent meaning that in this situation we're selling credit put spreads so we're selling for a better for a better price than theoretical value by at least 10 percent or more and then the historical theoretical win rate above 60 percent uh, meaning that this credit put spread would, uh, was profitable at least 60% or more of the time. So now that we we screened out um, positive theoretical uh, edge, edge credit put spreads, the next thing we would want to do is say, okay, you know, we when you're selling a credit put spread, you have a bullish outlook. And what can we do to help our odds in uh narrowing down stocks that have a potential to either you know s s at least sit around here or or float higher and it's it's impossible to know for sure what's going to happen between now and expiration so what your analysis could only use the statistics and data to determine what do you think is likely going to happen what i mean by that is you're looking for credit put spreads and then you want to know you want to do your research is there any type of news or anything concerning out there between now and expiration that could possibly make the stock you know move very violently to the downside um, and if you don't see anything out there that is concerning then you could look then we could start looking at data and trying to analyze what what do we think is likely going to happen between now and expiration that's when where the seasonality uh, screener comes in and I'm going to just change this expiration to any expiration within the next 30 days so that will change change all change all these expirations anything that expires within the next 30 days so let's just go to the seasonality I'm going to go to the seasonality tab here and look look down the line the first one is Microsoft and this is the test over here from if you it's always starts from the current day today assuming you would do the credit spread today and then uh, it tests it till the day of expiration so today's June 28th to July 19th it goes in the last 12 years the, it tip makes a back test and in this back test it says that 83.3% um, of the time in the last 12 years between these dates uh, Microsoft had a positive return 16.7% it had a negative return the average move was 2.9 percent that's the average of all the returns in these 12 observations the median move was 4.8 percent meaning that you know we compare it to the average move because the average move could get skewed one way or the other so we look at the median move right in the middle this average up move is the average of all the positive moves the average down move is the uh, average of all the negative moves and you could go over here just to show you how it looks you could take take a look at the price action analysis over here the historical price return distribution and let's just change this to Microsoft over here and pick seasonality so I chose seasonality today is the start date and let's look for the how historically the end date would have been let's just make sure July 19th so July 19th the last 12 years let's run that analysis and here's what it looks like for those periods from year to year since 2007 so we had two two down down moves the rest were up moves this is this you could see how how it's been trending so 83 percent positive 
17% negative moves. This is the average return, the median return. This is the average positive move, average negative move. This is the largest uh, positive move, the largest negative move. Here you could see on average how the, the returns progress through between the, that time period. And you could also just see the data from year to year down here. So I'm going to go back here and let's see how we could use this to narrow down our our credit put spreads to um, to, to potentially um, strong seasonal strength during that period, the, the expected hold period from now to the day of expiration. Um, I'm going to use this tab over here. This is this historical seasonality tab. Let's look for stocks that had seasonal strength and let's just choose above above 70%. So 70% of the uh, time historically between now and the and the, uh, the expected hold period was the day of the to the day of expiration. The the stock should have had 70% uh, positive returns. And you can see here there's different days to expiration. So this this will measure from June 28th to June, July 26th, because that's when that expires. This will measure June 28th till June July 19th, because that's when this expires. And then we also want to look for um, positive drift, right? So the average of all the moves in in our test should I'm going to pick above one percent, meaning that the average of all those 12 observations had to be at least. 1% or higher, and then I'm also going to set the median move. Let's do that above 1%. So that's also going to keep narrowing down all these selections. So that's that's this this guy over here. And as you can see now, we narrowed down the credit put spreads to be um, positive theoretical edge, right, and strong seasonality. Right, and that, and the idea here is that we're using statistics and analytics to, uh, to improve our odds or our chances of success. Uh, hope you guys like this video and see you guys next time.